Joining me now is MP and Chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee, Keith Faz. Good evening to you, Keith Faz. So you spoke to the families last week. Have you spoken to them again today about this? Uh, no, I haven't, Matt. They gave formal evidence to the Home Affairs Select Committee about what has happened. These are deeply disturbing pictures. If anyone believed that they were just uh, decided to go to Turkey on the spur of the moment and not know what was going to happen, well, these pictures show um, that this is a very highly organised departure, that people were there to help them. It has obviously been orchestrated very carefully, and uh, they seem to know what they were letting themselves in for. You think and the I girls think seem to know that because well, others suggest there's an air of naivety about this. Well, that may be the case, but um, they seem to be voluntarily doing this. And that's why I think what we need to do is to try and redouble our efforts to make sure that we work even more closely with the Turkish authorities. We understand why Turkey does not want foreign police officers uh, on their um, uh, in their country. Mm. But I do think that we do need to work closely with them because the worry for me, I think, is that this is going to happen to somebody else. So the quicker we try and learn what these people have done with these girls and try and disrupt what is going on, the better. And that means working really closely with the Turkish authorities well, to try may, and make sure that it's disrupted. Yeah, that, that may well be the right thing to do, but uh, the Turkish authorities have been critical of what they see as British inaction over this. Can we really work together? Well, I'm sure we can. We had some very good evidence from the Turkish ambassador. We have excellent relations with Turkey. It is a destination of concern as far as uh, uh, being a hub for those getting into Syria are concerned. And I think this probably needs a call between the prime minister of our country, David Cameron, and the Turkish president to reassert our firm commitment in the fight against terrorism. It does need to be dealt with at that level. I think it's probably being dealt with at a much lower level, but we need to make sure that at the very highest levels in Turkey, they understand we are on the same side. We are trying to stop more girls going, but more than that, we're trying to find out who these dreadful people are who are enticing young British girls to go to Turkey, getting passports ready for them and taking them into Syria. But this is very, very highly organized and it's been a, an eye-opener seeing these pictures tonight. Just tell me about, a bit more about the, uh, the evidence uh, the families uh, provided this week. Well, the evidence was most compelling because, of course, uh, they didn't know what had happened until the Tuesday of the, uh, the very day the girls had gone. Um, we heard from the Turks that the Turks only knew um, by picking up an email on the Thursday morning. It only went on the Interpol database on Sunday afternoon, and Ankara was only made aware of it on Monday morning when the full details came through. So we probably need to look at those processes to try and make sure that they are made more immediate. And we need to get organizations like Interpol to move much, much more quicker than they have done. There's no point in having Interpol as an international policing organization unless they deal with these issues much sooner. Okay, but it first, does mean final question though, just, just to finish off, and just to go back to that point about perhaps it being escalated, the very top of government uh, seizing the initiative here, do you think perhaps because they haven't done that so far, it's sending out the wrong message? Well, I don't know what is happening at the highest levels of government. We will find out at 3.30 on Tuesday when Theresa May comes before the committee for our very last session. And counterterrorism is always going to be an issue we discuss with uh, the Home Secretary. But certainly we will be putting this to her because we have known for years that Turkey is the gateway into Syria. And that is why it's important we work very closely with the Turks, we have good relations with them, and we need to develop them even further. Keith Faz, many thanks indeed.